Welcome back to Belle's Kitchen. This week we're going to be doing a nice decadent curry, a chicken passanda. Nice and sweet, almonds, coconut, minimal amount of spices, not hot, very mild and very quick to do. Anyway, enough of me chattering away, let's check out the ingredients. Okay, so what we've got here is one and a half tablespoons of sugar. We'll start with the sweet stuff first. And here I have three tablespoons of coconut milk powder. Now, this is not to be confused with desiccated coconut. Um, if you use desiccated coconut, you'll get a very bad result. It'll be very gritty and very cheery and not very coconutty at all. This is what's used in BIR restaurants. Um, you can also use coconut flour. Um, but coconut milk powder and coconut flour are very fine, they're very powdery and they dissolve in the curry and this is what you want, you want a nice smooth sauce, you don't want any grit or lumps. Okay, so over to the other ingredients. Here I have one teaspoon of curry powder, you can use your own mix powder if you have it, I'm sure you'll get great results using that. Right, and here I have two tablespoons of almond powder. Here I have a quarter teaspoon of salt, I have a quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder and to dress the curry at the end, this is an absolute optional extra, I just wanted to make the curry a little bit more decadent, I'm using um, a very small pinch of saffron, just because the curry is a lovely vibrant yellow colour and set against the lovely vibrant red strands of saffron, it makes the curry look amazing. Okay, so here I have one large chicken breast. Now as you can see, I've not pre-cooked the chicken, we're cutting that corner to save on time, but if you're going to cook it this way guys, I suggest chopping the chickens much smaller than you usually would, only because we turn out BIR curry is very quickly so we don't have a lot of time to cook and we want to make sure our chicken is cooked right through um, don't want any accidents there so just chop your chicken pieces slightly smaller than usual so they cook right through but feel free if you wish to carry on as usual and pre-cook your chicken for which I have a recipe and I'll provide the link in the description box below okay so the last ingredient is some single cream you can also use UHT long life single cream they tend to use this in Indian restaurants and not forgetting a teaspoon of butter ghee that goes in right at the end just to make this curry even more luxurious Okay, so warm your pan up. We don't want it too hot, not to start with anyway. And the uh, first thing that goes in is the sugar, the coconut milk powder, and the almond powder. Just warm that through. Okay, the first we're going to do is add one big ladle of base gravy. If I mix. You might notice that there's no oil being used in this curry. Um, main, reason, main reason is because there's nothing really to fry. Um, not even going to fry the chicken, going to uh, put the chicken in the base gravy. That's it. And what we want, is, what we want within the, the passanda is a nice sauce. That's it. Okay, so once that starts bubbling, I'm going to add a second ladle of base gravy. Um, don't even want to use turmeric in this. Uh, it's basically going to take the colour of the base gravy. Because um, uh, it's quite a pungent spice turmeric. It can make your curry taste a bit dusty. There we go. So we just want to cook that out for a little while. Keep stirring, make sure you don't have any lumps in there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put in our mixed powder or curry powder. The cardamom powder. And the salt. Stir that through. The gravy is going to get richer and richer. As we reduce the water out of the base gravy, you're basically left with more of a concentration of the original ingredients of the base, which is basically the onions, the peppers, and so on. Okay, now, as I said, because we're not using pre cooked chicken, I'm going to put the chicken now because we need all the time we can get to cook the chicken. 
That's how easy this is, guys. Really simple to do. You could have this any day of the week. So now we're going to turn that on a, a low to medium flame, only because we want to cook the chicken through. So I'll be back in around eight minutes. Okay, so now I'm at seven minutes. Just make sure that the curry doesn't burn. Okay, so with a few minutes more to go, I'm gonna add another ladle of base gravy, just so that we have nice, a nice amount of juice. That's it, mix that in. It smells amazing, I have to say. I mean, the coconut and the almond is really permeate, permeating the air. Okay, so we can turn that up a little now. So it's been cooking for around eight minutes. Then I'll tell you this was going to be a quick curry to produce. And uh, what I'm going to do now is obviously cook that gravy out a little more. Um, but I'm going to add the butter ghee. There you go. Put that all in. This is an optional extra. You don't have to add that. Don't feel like you're missing out or you're ruining the recipe if you don't add that. Here we go. I'm going to add now 60 ml of single cream. Put that in right at the very end. Give it a nice mix. Keep taking the curry in off from the sides. That's the nice, rich, sweet, sweet onion caramelizing. So remember this, let this bubble, but not burn. So remember the two Bs, bubble, but not burn. So take that off the edge. So how thick do we like our gravy at home there? Look, is that nice enough? Is that nice for a nice, Peshwari naan or a garlic naan. One. Right, I think we're ready to go with this. It's gonna dish up. Nice BIR style chicken pasanda. It doesn't really get any more complicated than that. I bet you're all surprised how simple this. This is a very flavoursome curry. Um, I think I could only eat it once a week though. Uh, got to watch the waistline, and as some of you may know, I am a bit of a gym goer. Well, let's not waste any of this gravy. Look at that, pull that on the edge. This looks amazing. Let's just clean the bowl, which I suspect there, and uh, you're going to dress this with some flaked almonds, and not forgetting the optional, but very expensive and decadent, saffron. There you go, there's lovely red against that pasanda. I have to say that does look amazing. So there you go guys, one BIR chicken pasanda. Okay, so it's time for the all important taste test. Now I've got to let you have a nice look at this because it, it looks too good to touch to be honest. You've already seen it, but look at that. Isn't that just beauty in a bowl? Let alone beauty in the beast. There's no beast in this kitchen. Don't call me names. Anyway, so uh, let's taste a little bit of the chicken. Mmm, that is really, really tasty. And I'm not just saying it because I'm out and I'm in Al's kitchen. You really got to try this, guys. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Oh, just before I go, people have been um, emailing me saying to me that they're not aware of when I put out videos, even though they're subscribed and they're not getting notifications. Well, next to the subscribe button, yeah, look below, there's a little bell. And if you press the bell, you'll be first to know when I release a video. You'll get a notification straight away. So anyway, now we've sorted that out, it's time for me to go. And you know what I say before I go? I'm out, and I'm out of here with this lovely, beautiful chicken pasanda. Mm -hmm.